Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop, retired meteorologist, and there are storms developing across the country, and some of these will be affecting our area of southeastern Georgia and South Carolina, particularly on the day Thursday. And our mild temperatures, well, it looks like they're gonna be dropping to the cold side over the next several days. So let's take a look. First of all, the national weather map shows blizzard conditions and heavy snow warnings across a large portion of the central and the northern plains with severe weather conditions across Texas into Oklahoma and Arkansas and flooding conditions possible across uh, Mississippi into northern Alabama and southern portions of Louisiana. And there you can see on the satellite imagery a comma-shaped figure, and that's indication of a very strong, what we call synoptic low pressure system. And uh, it is producing heavy snow to the north and west of it with severe thunderstorms, even tornadoes to the south of it over here in eastern Oklahoma and northeastern portions of Texas. Looking at the um, lightning detection system there, you can see quite a bit of lightning associated with it as well, particularly over here in the Arkansas area, western Arkansas and northeastern portion of the Texas area. So let's take a quick look at the radars from that area. And the Texas radar uh, is showing uh, very heavy thunderstorms, severe thunderstorms just to the east of Dallas earlier this morning around Rockwell. They had hail the size of tennis balls. Yeah, two and a half inches in diameter. And still severe weather warnings in uh, effect for portions of uh, Arkansas and eastern Oklahoma. Uh, this afternoon going into the um, Tuesday later afternoon. And then uh, further northward, uh, the system uh, continues to uh, produce a lot of precipitation, but mostly rain and heavy rains at that, less chance of severe weather in that area there. And then if we go further north uh, into this system, uh, it changes over to snow. Here we are at the uh, um, Grand Forks, North, North Dakota radar, and there you can see quite a bit of snow that's been falling across that area. Over here in Aberdeen, uh, South Dakota, they've been getting a mixture of rain, sleet, and freezing rain uh, this afternoon. All that snow continues to fall in the north, and it's very heavy snow. Some places they're going to get about a six inches to a foot of snow or more, and that's along with considerable blowing and drifting of snow. Now let's take a look at the uh, uh, severe weather threat across the uh, south and there we have the enhanced chance for severe thunderstorms with tornadoes across uh, portions of eastern Texas, Louisiana and into uh, the uh, Mississippi area and then extending as general thunderstorms into the central Mississippi River Valley and the Missouri Valley there. What about day number two? That's tomorrow and uh, right here it shifts a little bit further east. Uh, remaining in the south across Louisiana, uh, Mississippi, and Alabama, extending into southwestern Georgia. This is Wednesday, and then going into Thursday, it extends eastward into the coastal areas of southeastern Georgia and southern South Carolina. So we have a chance, a slight risk for severe thunderstorms, but it looks more like rain uh, for our area for Thursday. Let's take a look at that forecast model. And there we go. The map right here shows an intense area of low pressure system over in the um, uh, Nebraska area, south central Nebraska with snow and heavy snow as a matter of fact and freezing rain uh, and, and sleet across the north with a band of showers and thunderstorms uh, extending southward from that. As we go in advance in time, the thunderstorms continue to progress eastward while the low pressure system doesn't move all that much just a little bit further east uh, into remaining in the uh, Nebraska area with still moderate to heavy snows continuing to fall across uh, North and South Dakota uh, into the uh, Wisconsin area and then as you advance eastward and, and, and progress in time forward in time and the system moves eastward there you can see on uh, one o'clock Thursday afternoon the ban of showers and thunderstorms is over central and eastern Georgia and South Carolina and that is the greater Savannah Hilton Head area and there is a, a slight chance for severe thunderstorms but it looks more like just rain uh, with um, moderate rain at times in our area still the snow continues to fall across the northern portion of the country and then behind that some cold air will be flowing on in and we'll be seeing some cool to colder temperatures uh, for this weekend coming up. But let's not stop here. There's another storm brewing over here in the Pacific Ocean. And let's progress this map forward in time. And a little system comes out of the Gulf of Mexico over the weekend on Sunday, giving us some light rain and maybe some uh, you know, continuous rain on Sunday throughout much of uh, Georgia, Southeast Georgia and Southern South Carolina. And then that moves off 
And then this other storm begins to develop. Look at this. It's already uh, crossing the mountains. This is December 22nd, uh, Thursday, December 22nd. And then it really ramps up uh, as a major uh, low pressure system over here in the uh, just about where the Ohio and the Mississippi River meet in the southeast Missouri, southern Illinois, western Kentucky. And very heavy snows and very strong winds associated with this system here. And what about us. How is this going to be affecting us? Well, not too much in the form of precipitation. It's going to keep us mild until it passes through. And this is um, uh, Friday, December 23rd. And as we go into uh, Christmas Eve, the front passes well to the east of us and the cold air starts rushing in. We might see our first hard freeze of the uh, season in the greater Savannah area for Christmas Eve and Christmas morning. Or particularly Christmas morning, we might see temperatures down in the 20s uh, in our area. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at those temperatures. Uh, first of all, the pre precipitation. Uh, there you can see the band of rain showers moving eastward into uh, Georgia and South Carolina in the form of showers and thunderstorms. And this is here uh, early morning before sunrise on Thursday, and then going into daybreak on Thursday right there across central Georgia and northwest South Carolina, and then advancing eastward into the portions of Georgia, South Carolina and coastal Georgia, and then moves off the coast after that. The um, total precipitation amounts will be quite a bit over in Mississippi and Alabama, but as it progresses eastward, uh, it loses its um, uh, strength, and uh, the Atlanta metropolitan area might see about an inch or more, or maybe two inches of rain, but in the greater Savannah, Hilton Head area down to Brunswick and Statesboro, looks like about an inch of rain or less in our area. Now, a lot of people ask me, will we have a white Christmas? Well, not in Savannah. We did back in 1989, but not, not this year. It's going to be uh, cold, but it's going to be not white. But the white Christmas, look at this. Just about the northern two-thirds of the country might have a white Christmas this year. And looking at the temperatures, uh, here we have it. We're staying relatively mild for a while. And as that front progresses eastward, we still... Uh, on uh, Thursday, uh, with that rain system coming in, it'll be pumping in some warm air. So we'll be in the 50s and 60s, maybe even touch 70 before the front passes through. And then some of that cold air begins to move on southward, but not really cold. It just uh, We may be dropping down into the 30s. But look up here, the cold air mass is developing out of western and uh, south central Canada, moving into the northern plains where temperatures will be below zero in many cases there. Uh, and then a very strong surge of cold air breaks loose into the um, northern portions of the northwest part of the country. And then it pushes southward into the south center portion of the nation and then eventually works its way into southeastern Georgia and southern South Carolina. And this is Saturday, December 22nd and going into Christmas Eve um, and, and Christmas uh, Day, Christmas morning, we could be in the 20s across the greater Savannah Hilton Head area. So looking at the six to, day, six to 10 day forecast of temperatures, we're going to be seeing much of the country to below to well below normal temperature wise and uh, including our area here, but things will be changing after that. Uh, looking at my six week weather outlook on my uh, webpage, savannapat.name, uh, there you have uh, this week right now, temperatures around normal, a normal high for us this time of the year is 64, 43 is the normal low. But then next week we drop to uh, below normal temperatures. The week of December 21st through the 27th, that includes the Christmas Eve, Christmas Day area. And uh, temperatures uh, will be below normal, 63 to 42 is the normal. So we're gonna be down into about 15, perhaps up to 15 degrees below normal. And, uh, and then slightly below normal for week number three as we close out the year going into the beginning of the new year, uh, right around normal and then slightly above normal for uh, week five and six, which takes us into the middle portions of January. So right now the conditions are, you know, the big storm in the nation's midsection could be affecting us, uh, particularly on Thursday. So keep an eye on that. So thanks for watching right here on my Savannah Weather and Nature page, my Savannah Pat Weather and Nature page right here on YouTube. Thanks for watching.